Well, tonight we are favored in a very special way with tremendous gifts from God. And he is a dear friend and brother, and he's proven to be a friend to this jurisdiction. Of course, he's written a book entitled Bit But Not Poison. Really bless you because so many things we go through in life, they're not final. They're just something we're going through, but we're definitely coming out. And these will be available for you this week. He has a wonderful singing CD as well. Beautiful music. It's tranquil. It's, it's empowering. I really like listening to it. You know, I, I didn't know that our guest was much of a singer when I first met him. He's a dear friend of mine now. But um, and he told me he had a CD. I'm like, yeah, right. I messed around and put it in my car. And before I knew it, I'm humming this song all over the place. And then my boy started liking it. And I said, we may have something here. But it's really anointed. It will really bless you. I really like it. It's some good music, especially just riding and listening. And it ministers to you. He's from Baltimore, Maryland area. Tremendous gift to God. Evangelist Robbie Warren. Let me tell you what I respect and appreciate about him. You know, everybody I believe is is an individual and you ought to practice being you. Nobody can beat you being you. Amen. What I love about him, he's low maintenance. Um, he doesn't try to call any glory to himself. I've really seen, and I've told people across the country where I've gone and mentioned him, I've really seen some very true and wonderful miracles, especially of healing that happened through his life. He was with us last year here and so many people were healed. And, uh, and he's faithfully come. He's done the day sessions, and, and, but he just listened to everybody else preach, and he would do the teaching in the faith clinic in the day session and faithfully come each year. And I said this year, he's been faithfully coming. I want to put him and spotlight him in one of our evening services. He's proven to be loyal and faithful. Amen, somebody. We also had him in Memphis and Mason for our New Year's Eve service there where thousands gathered at Mason Temple. And then just to hear the testimonies of people saying how tumors had disappeared and God had healed them from various illnesses. Let me tell you something. It's a great thing. When God heals your body, he's also put money back in your pocket. The woman with the issue of blood, the Bible says she spent all she had and nothing was better. When God heals you, he's done you a great, great thing. How many of you have been healed before? Some of you have been healed through his ministry. Amen. Come on, say amen if so. So glad for Evangelist Robbie Warren. He's going to bless us tonight. He's a tremendous preacher. He preached several times for me. And I know that he has a word in his mouth for you on tonight. Amen. Before he comes, we are favored with this tremendous man of God. Pastor Timothy Rogers, a little brother of mine. And what a gift he is. The other day I was riding in the car and I didn't even know this was his song. And, I, and the announcer said, I'm like, who? And it was blessing me, so I called him about that song. It was something that he, was, he and John P. Key were singing. But God is doing so much through his ministry and just causing him to soar and touch the lives of people. He's a tremendous pastor and leader, and I know you're going to be blessed by none other than Pastor Timothy Rogers. And following him will be in the hands of our great guest tonight, who's going to preach the word to us, Evangelist Robbie Warren. We have these postcards available for you. We want you to get them and help us distribute them to people all over the rest of the city in your community. We'll share these with you at the end of the service. Will you clap your hands for them in that order? Amen. Say amen for Pastor Timothy Rogers. good for us to be here. I won't get down. Thank you so much, Bishop, and everybody in their respectful places. Thank you for allowing me to be a part uh, of this powerful meeting. I'm going to hurry up and sing a little song and get out the way of this preacher. Is that okay? Mighty Jesus' little song says, um, where you at? 
The song says, There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing his praise. Sounds like music in my It's the sweetest name, sweetest name I know. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing his praise. Sounds like music. In my ear, it's the sweetest name, sweetest name, sweetest name I know. Let's sing it again. Oh, how I love Jesus. Anybody love him? Oh, how I love Jesus. How I love Jesus. Come on, church. Because, come on, come on. He first, he first loved me. One more time, let's sing it like we're in church. Oh, how I love Jesus. Did anybody here tonight love him? Oh, how I love Jesus. He first loved me, and since we're in the coaching, holy convocation tonight, why don't we just go back to what mama was talking about tonight, full coverage. Can I tell you how I know I got it? Because it reaches to the highest, to the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest, to the lowest valley. Y'all looking at me like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Look at your neighbors like he's talking about the blood. It will give you strength from day, yeah, from day to day. Can I get a witness when I say it'll never, it'll never. It won't lose its power. One more time, let's say it like we're in church. It reaches to the highest, to the highest mountain. And I don't care how low you are, it flows to the lowest, to the lowest valley. Give somebody a high five tonight and say, he's singing about the blood. It will give you strength from day, from day to day. Can I get a witness when I say it'll never, it'll never, never, never lose? God Almighty, it won't lose its power. One more time, sing it like you believe it, it'll reach out. To the highest, to the highest mountain. And I don't care how old you are, it's so. To the lowest, to the lowest valley. I gotta go to my seat, but look at somebody say, he talk about the blood. Mama, it'll give you strength.
Come on, hold on one second. Look at somebody in the face and tell them I dare you to show the devil what he don't want to see. He don't want to see you running. He don't want to see you jumping. He don't want to see you shouting. He don't want to see you shabaking. Tona, yada, come on and show it. somebody tell them it's not about you but it's about your relationship with God the devil don't want you to praise the Lord the devil don't want you to talk to the Lord but every time I think of God's goodness and what he's already done it don't matter what he's gonna do it's about what he's already done when I look back over my life and I begin to think things over I can truly say that I've been blessed. I've got a testimony. Tell somebody I've got a testimony. Tell them I've got a testimony and I'm gonna praise God. I'm gonna thank him. I'm gonna worship him. I'm gonna rejoice. Lift your hands and shout glory. Go on and sit down if you can. Grab somebody by the hand and tell him if you want to go praise him, you might as well stay at home. But tell somebody I'm gonna make the devil out of a liar. Tell somebody I'm gonna make the devil out of a liar. I'm gonna praise God no matter what I'm going to. Ah, I'm gonna praise him in spite of what it looks like. Let me read a scripture. Bishop told me I had to preach. But I feel the anointing up in this place. Look at somebody tell them I'm too anointed to be bad. I got too much anointing on my life. To sit up and play with the demons of hell. I'm going to make the devil take a value. Oh Lord have mercy. Until you learn how to praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Tim. Don't go nowhere. I may throw you this mic. If, if you had to hit it one or two more times, I felt an explosion in this place. over and told Pastor Dillard, I said, the crowd look like they are subdued tonight. The rain. The rain is something about the elements in the atmosphere. And sometimes it's not a natural. But they are spiritual. There are demons in this place. And what happens is, we don't understand, you don't have to necessarily be possessed by a devil, but you can be influenced by demons. The demons will bring back everything that you're going through while you're sitting in the house of God. They will tell you your body's not feeling well, you got problems at home, you got situations on the job, your, your money's funny, but you got to serve the demon that, you see, because there are demons that's been assigned to some of you. Uh, Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I said the demons have been assigned to you and they come to influence you to the magnitude because what they come, they come with psychological manipulation to manipulate you to the magnitude that it will make you walk in doubt and unbelief. But you got to learn how to tell the devils and the demons uh, that I will yet praise the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Uh, God don't have to do another thing for me. I'm going to praise him as I got a word pastor I got a word and I I've been up here about five minutes already ten minutes I, I told I'm going to do it to seminary anyway preach about 15 minutes then I'm going to get out of the way because I feel like God want to heal some folks here 
God that gave me a word. Uh, get your Bibles real quick, real quick. Pastor, I know you're great. I love the way you, uh, you mind reading for me like they did in the old church. Bishop, I know you're a bishop. You're looking around. <laughs> He's my brother. Amen. He's my brother. Amen. 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 Thank you. I might preach with two mics. I was in Birmingham a couple of weeks ago, and they kept on bringing me mics. I'm serious. They kept on bringing them to me. And I shut everything. I said, I tell you what, don't give me another mic. I'm going to preach with both of them. <laughs> I said, oh, baby. <laughs> you didn't hit the right note, August. <laughs> Go with me real quick. Just give me a couple of minutes. Who in here got a sickness in your body? Everybody got a sickness in your body, raise your hand. Got a sickness, don't make one. Who in here got a pain in your body right now? Go with me real quick to Psalms 34. Pastor, I'm moving quick. I'm going to be out of the way. Psalms 34. 